You may want to look at the pregnancy vlog that I've done today, number three, it's on today for the male pregnancy vlog. So you might want to go over there and I'll stick a link up at the end. Okay, so I'm actually going to talk about aliens again today. I wanted to talk today about what aliens are likely to look like and what perhaps what they're unlikely to look at like as well. Now that sounds like idle speculation. And I'm going to explain to you why I don't think it is. You may be aware of the Mandelbrot set. Now the Mandelbrot set is a fractal. It took quite a while to prove that it was a fractal, but basically it is. So when you look at a Mandelbrot set, you see things like branching like trees, you see leaf-like structures, and you see shell-like structures. And that's all over the place. Like sea Seahorse Valley, for example, looks very much like a shell. So you've got all of those. And you can assume, I think, that if there's life elsewhere in the universe, that it's quite likely to use some of those forms. So we're not completely in the dark about it. The second question, of course, is that if we're talking about biochemical life, we're sort of restricting our discussion a bit. But I am going to restrict it to that, and I'm going to talk about life that's made of cells. Now, why would you think life was made of cells? Well, the reason is that if you do experiments like the Miller-Urey experiment, where you try and create life in the laboratory through experimental means, you end up with little globules of lipids, which tend to split and form chains. So you end up, in other words, with cell-like forms. And as a result, I think it is possible, although for all we know there might just be a film of something on a rock or something rather than an actual cell. So yeah, there are other ways that that could happen. So if you look at the land, there's some terrain near one of the poles of Mars, which has a dendritic appearance to it. Some people have actually suggested that that is life. I think it suggests that there could be tree-like life forms elsewhere in the universe, but that's not necessarily it. In particular, I think there could be flower-like life forms because there is a whole variety of different animals which do in fact resemble flowers quite closely. And another one is worm-like life forms. The reason for that being that a worm is basically a cylinder and um, so something like a nematode, which of course is the most successful phylum, is quite likely elsewhere in the universe. So maybe something like the uh, sandworms used in Dune are actually quite probable in a way. Another thing is segmentation. Segmentation has evolved independently in the ancestors of the vertebrates and also in the ancestors of the arthropods. And as a result, I think segmentation is quite probable. probable. Then there are examples of convergent evolution where two unrelated groups of animals look very similar, such as the bivalves and the brachiopods. So that's possible too. Another one is that simple geometric shapes might exist in the form of aliens. So for example, spheres, because a sphere minimizes surface area to volume, and something like the radiolaria, the foraminifera, the heliozoa, sea urchins, so forth, may be quite likely as well. And another issue is when organisms start to move through a fluid, that they need to be streamlined, and therefore that perhaps bird-like animals, and I'm talking about bird-like in a very loose sense, in the sense that a butterfly is like a bird, or a fly is like a bird. I'm not talking about something that's got a beak and so forth. Um, also quite likely and also fish-like forms in fluids. Another thing which tends to occur a lot is hard exoskeletons. So I think considering the success of, lobs, of um, arthropods, um, I think it's quite likely that you could get arthropod-like life forms, but maybe not insects. I think the most likely thing would be spiders, lobsters, scorpions, centipedes, and trilobite or woodlouse-like forms that roll up. Another form that occurs in nature quite a lot is the icosahedron, in particularly in viruses. I think you might find large icosahedral life forms, and maybe also dodecahedral, because dodecahedra are close to being spheres again. What I think is unlikely, actually, is vertebrates. If you look at the Burgess Shale, you see a wide variety of different animals, some of which died out, some of which were very successful then, but became less successful later. And one of those is Picaia, the ancestor of the vertebrates, or an ancestor, possible ancestor of the vertebrates. I'm also not sure about mollusk-like ones apart from bivalves, so maybe an octopus or a squid is actually quite improbable. So the cliché of this thing that looks like a squid with tentacles and so forth being an alien, maybe not. And also insect-like. I think insects are very successful, but they have a very specific body form with uh, head, thorax and abdomen. 
although limbs are likely because they've evolved separately several times for example in insects in vertebrates and in octopus and their lot as our eyes of course because eyes have evolved separately as well and they've been very like vertebrate eyes so eyes like ours also quite likely one thing i might call into question is the plant animal distinction we don't know that that actually would exist elsewhere in the universe or it could even be reversed with the plants being mobile and the animals being stuck to a surface the fact that flower-like animals seem quite likely means that upside down flower-like animals could be quite likely as well and the problem of flight could be solved in different ways as well for example in a balloon-like form rather than a bird-like form and of course planes are like birds too so that's quite probable i think when it comes down to it what it, what it, what will probably happen if there is a lot of life in the universe and it is somewhat like life on this planet is that the simple forms such as worms sea anemones perhaps sea urchins although they're not particularly simple corals and so forth will be widespread as will bivalves for example like mollusks mussels cockles scallops that sort of thing but more complex organisms will be more varied something like an octopus a human or, um, or an insect is less likely and there will be equally elaborate animals but they won't look like anything on this planet so i think there's a basal form which is similar and then more elaborate ones are less similar um, however there is one caveat as far as that's concerned which is convergent evolution if you look at something like a tasmanian tiger that's a very wolf-like animal or was a very wolf-like animal even though it wasn't descended from an animal that looked anything like a wolf so yes it's just about possible that a huge amount of convergent evolution would, be, would happen and there would be a lot of terrestrial like animals on another planet so if you like this video please rate comment and subscribe if you dislike it tell me why so i can improve and i'll see you tomorrow